It's a sad, sad story. Joining me tonight on the panel is Joan Walsh, editor-at-large for Salon.com, Sally Cohn, founder of MovementVision.org, and nationally syndicated radio talk show host Bill Press. Joan, we'll start with you tonight. Thanks for joining us. The New York Times is reporting that Wiener told Nancy Pelosi he would not resign only 15 minutes before his press conference. Do you think Wiener will ever resign? Is this, uh, is this just part of his overall plan that he will never give in? What do you think? I don't know. You know, I, I don't think that's clear yet. He obviously tried to dig his heels in and say that it wasn't him. He tried that strategy. He lied. And I agree with you, Ed. You know, the lying is is what disturbs me. He implicated a lot of us. I, I defend. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Let's just say that. And you know, I look kind of stupid. But on the other hand, this was. This was brought to light for political reasons. Why do you look stupid? Why, why do you say that? Oh, because I, you know, I gave him the benefit of the doubt publicly, and uh, you know, pointed to the the, um, you know, the motivations of the people who were bringing this to light, uh, which was to destroy him. Uh, and you know, it's 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 all kind of creepy, and and he lied, and that's the worst thing. But on the other hand, you know, this is this is private business. Uh, you know, I'm not his wife. She has she has reasons uh, to be upset. But if we really lower the bar, as you refer to, to this level where you can't accuse him of hypocrisy, he's not a family values moralizer. You can't accuse him yet of breaking the law. I'll get back to that. Um, at this point, I'm not going to join a call for him to resign. Okay. I don't think we have all the facts. And, and, and I'm proud Bill, of Nancy Pelosi for saying sure. she's going to investigate him. That's where Democrats are different. Well, we, go, we take the stuff this, to the mat. Uh, this investigation is going to tell us whether his uh, system was hacked or not. And, well, it, and, and so that, that all is going to come out. Bill Press, do you feel any different about it tonight with new developments that have come out? Using his phone, uh, allegedly uh, in his office, uh, helping a poor star trying to navigate through this uh, with a PR help offering that. What about that bill? First of all, Ed, look, I admire you for sticking to your guns. I'm going to stick to mine. No, I don't think you should resign. A couple of points, We're, real quickly, right? We do not know that he did anything illegal. Nobody right. has suggested that. He did not do anything illegal. But he did as lie. The use, uh, he lied, absolutely. He lied. Repeatedly. I, I he, he lied repeatedly. He lied to his wife. He lied to us. He lied to his colleagues. And that is totally, that is totally unacceptable. I pointed out, others have lied. Lying in Washington, D.C. is not a cause for losing your job or else this would be a ghost town. Well, you know, that takes us to the next tonight, that, takes to, this. that takes us to the next level. Andrew Breitbart well, claims that he's got an X-rated picture well, of uh, of, yeah. of uh, Wiener and he's right. using it as insurance. Here's what he said right. on the Today show this morning. Here it is. Got it. Got it. So, so would you use that photo to protect these women? Uh, that's you know, I, I'm not thinking of it that way, but I certainly have it in my possession, and I, I guarantee you he would use this against me, and the people on the left side of the blogosphere would have used this against me. I, I, I could have put that out there, and his career would have been over today. Sally Cohn, uh, uh, Sally Cohn uh, what do you make of that? Uh, I mean, look, this isn't about judging Anthony Weiner. This is about judging what's in the best interest of the country. And the fact of the matter is he's becoming the Tiger Woods of politics. I mean, look, the number one thing that Democrats have to do in this country is restore trust in government. And you can't get the American people to believe in the political system if you don't give them leaders that they can believe in. But Bill Press, but, that, but if it, if Bill Press, if it's true that there is an X-rated picture out there, you've got a congressman who has sent an X-rated picture out through the Internet. I mean, you hey, you think that's Ed. grounds for dismissal no, no, no. in the in the, Ed, in the arena Ed. of public opinion? Hey, Ed, wait, wait, we're playing right wing politics here now. Wait, no, 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 I'm, Bill, no, I'm not no, no, Ed. no, of course, we are not playing right wing politics. Bill, hold Let, on, hold right. on. You've done these shows. You know how this works. This is not right wing politics. This is absolute. There are absolutes. This man is now being accused of sending out pornography on the internet. He has also a repeatedly a, been a Wait. liar on all of these talk shows, Bill. Ed. This has nothing to do with left and right no, no, no. at this point. Ed, have you seen the X-rated picture? Are you going to show it tonight? I'm asking have you, you if it? that is a game changer, if that well, is true. Well, I was trying to answer the question. Ed, yes. 
if that is out there, if that comes out there, he is gone. He is absolutely gone. But we don't know that yet. We don't know that he used government resources yet on his cell phone. Well, you know head. who does and know, I don't Bill? think we ought to let you know, the right Bill, wing set the Bill agenda Press. here and listen to Rush Limbaugh and think uh, that excuse Anthony Weiner is the face Bill of Press, the Democratic Party. Bill Press, let me tell you Party. something. I, I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed that you compare me to Rush Limbaugh, number one. I'm not, Ed, and, and, I'm not, I, and I just no, want to say that I want to I want to say this. There is one person that knows if there's a picture out there, and it's not Andrew Breitbart. It's Anthony Weiner. And he needs to step up. And if he knows that there is a picture out there, that's even more evidence and more damaging to the American governmental process. And it's very damaging to the Democrats. And that's exactly why Harry Reid is not going to step up and support him. Your thoughts, Joan Walsh? Well, yeah. I mean, I do think that that photo is probably a game changer. But, but again, Ed, I, I'm, I would never accuse you of being a right winger. I'm just saying, you know, if we let the other side... To keep taking scalps that determine that determines who our leaders are. I think the, the right people wing isn't taking a scalp. Anthony Weiner has been driving this bus. You folks are yeah, in denial. I have, to, I have to say, I think that you know the the most horrifying thing about this entire story is we have infinitely more important things to be focused on as well, a country yes. and like it or not this is a distraction he is going to be an albatross around the neck of the democratic party and more importantly look he's he's supposed to be doing the important work of the american people who elect these men and women and and unfortunately more often men than women uh, and can't we can't afford this distraction not even one distraction not even one member but, of this office but can you be know, distracted. No one, they have more important things to do no one has proven no one has right. proven that he neglected his duties look I, you know, I'm with Bill. I call for an investigation. I think that's great. We'll see what they find. But at this point, to say that we that we can know he that he neglected his duties, we can't. There's no evidence of that. That he used his his uh, congressional phone. Maybe he did. They can find that out, and they will look into it. I'm just very uncomfortable. Look, if we if we adhere to this standard, Bill Clinton you know, would never have been president. And I happen I, to think Bill Pr Clinton was a pretty right. good president. You know, so, I'm going to pick I, up I, on that, Ed, if I can, for just a second, because I. I Listen, I've been thinking about Bill Clinton through this whole thing. I heard all these arguments, all the same all arguments them. that are being made all against Anthony Weiner, that he's an embarrassment, impeached. he's the face of the party. I, I, I took I it that the position Clinton at the time. Impeached. Let's not re well, no, redo no, but history I don't here. Well, he no, we're talking about there. whether or not he should have resigned. There were people calling him that he should have resigned. I don't think he should have. I'm glad he didn't. He is stronger today than he ever was before. And the American people be stuck with him. careful about calling for his resignation. I think it was wrong then. It's wrong now. We have too many public public officials who were allowing to abuse, particularly male public officials, were allowing to abuse their mm -hmm. positions uh, and, and not uh, holding up the candle. And, Look, we need to be a party of integrity. And, and let me be very clear. I, I don't think the American people, in my opinion, care about the sexting or care about the phone sex. What they care about is the lion. And what they care about is what these public officials, this one in particular, was doing on company time. I mean, if in fact that he was involved in this and more is going to come out, and he knows it. He knows it. There's one person that knows the story right. here, and that's Anthony Weiner. And I think for him to tell Nancy Pelosi under no uncertain terms, he is going to be the judge, jury, and executioner in all of this after all that he's been through, I think that that is really continuing to game the system. But he's Ju not the judge, jury, and the executioner. There are other people who will have a say about his fate as we learn more. And look, Ed, I agree with you on one thing. If he's done more, if there are things that... that, that the, the country would be rightfully very concerned about. He's the only one who knows, and if that's true, he should resign. But if what we know is out there, and we're going to, you know, let this moral outrage determine what people should do, again, I come back okay. to Bill Clinton. And, and Bill Clinton, at least All they right. had the, at least they could say they, he lied under oath. That was their All cover. Right. Joan Walsh, <laughs> Sally Cohn, and Bill Press. Great to have all of you on tonight. I appreciate okay, it so thanks. much. Remember to answer tonight's question.